a beautiful bright home in a brand new community right here in Mineola. Let's have a look, let's go. Welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules. And today's video is sponsored by Nick Long of AmeriFirst Home Mortgages and MLS ID 398963. Guys, I am in Mineola today, which is right next to Claremont, and this place is absolutely exploding. I'm going to be showing you this beautiful loaded builder model. It's five bedrooms, four bathroom, over 3,500 square foot. It's about 3,532. What I really like is the elevation of this house. If you see how this, this is done, it's definitely a different elevation that I have not seen with a lot of builders. What I like is that you have this really nice, beautiful stone elevation up front. You have this little walkway. And then look at the pad that you have for your garage. You know, you have a decent amount of space. You can park easily two cars back to back if you like. You know, two compact car definitely. You don't want to get two really big cars. But let's go inside and check the rest of this beautiful house out. Hello, hello guys. Welcome to another beautiful loaded home right here in Mineola. Now, those of you who do not know where Mineola is or where other communities are, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. That's my new channel and that's where I bring you community videos throughout Central Florida. We talk about hospitals, schools, dining, shopping, everything that there is to know about a certain community, the pros and cons, and that's going to help you kind of narrow it down so you can compare you know, Windermere, Winter Garden, Kissimmee, and more and more videos are coming on that channel also. Uh, so just to keep that, uh, just keep that in mind. Now I am in this new community. It's a five bedrooms, four bathroom, 35, 32 square foot. The lot size is about 50 by 120. So it's a pretty decent, good size. You definitely can build a pool in there. Maybe not a very big pool, but definitely a decent pool. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Press that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and show us some love. We bring you brand new models throughout Central Florida and right now I'm going to be showing you this model and I'll give you a lot of updates of what's happening in the market because it is absolutely still insane. So what I really like when I come in is the nine foot four ceiling. You have the extra lights, but I like this is this area right there. You have really nice big window bringing in a lot of light. You have this space right here, like a, you know, like little formal living area you can call. And then what I like is that you have this open dining area. And I have seen with some builders they have this open floor plan where everything is in like one go like it's a big rectangle and then you have the dining area but what i like with this one is that they have this dining which is kind of semi-private but it's kind of tucked away with the easy access to the kitchen so as i go around you know one thing that i will tell you make sure that you get the extra lights if you haven't watched my video on uh, you know the, the do's and don'ts of bringing in a brand uh, for building a brand new home then go ahead and do so because that's where i talk that's where i show you everything so that you can see what is coming now right over here you also have a closet space a little bit you know this is just the cavity it kind of goes a little bit deeper around so good place to to do the storage or the doghouse for the husband that do not listen and i am usually in that uh, category sometimes uh, or actually more, more times than I think. But anyways, so just getting back, so as I walk in, look at all this space. What I really, really like about this builder is that you have so many windows, like you have six panels right here, and then you have the sliding row right there, and then you also have that separate kitchen nook area. So a lot of space, you know, the space in this house is very, very well utilized, but look at the open kitchen. You know, you have this beautiful island, which is a granite. Now guys, with this specific builder, you're going to have collection. They have like two different series of home. They have a collection series and a signature series. And this is a signature series, which is basically 50 by 120 lot. So your lot is bigger. Uh, I'm also going to do a video for another model, which is a smaller model. And the price is cheaper. Now the base price on this home is $499,990. Don't ask me why didn't they just put it at 500. It would be much easier to remember. But uh, you know, for the sake of easy math, it's 500,000 
base price, your lot prices goes from anywhere from zero to 12,500, depending upon where you buy in the community. Now the zero lot price is for homes that are kind of back to back. So just keep that in mind. And guys, again, prices are going insanely up, you know, um, and, and one of the true factors of that is the rising cost, the inflation, everything. And it looks like the whole world wants to move to Central Florida. We have a wait list literally in every single community. If I find a community that doesn't have it, I am like shell shocked. Like it is absolutely crazy. And that's why it is very, very, very crucial guys that if you are looking to buy and you are even a year out, year and a half out, come down now, you know, let us help you to show you around so you can narrow down your searches and say, hey, Claremont is one of the areas I'm gonna move in or Windermere is another one or West Horizon is another one. So so you can narrow down and the best thing here you could do is either get on a wait list now in order to get on a wait list with most builders right now you have to be pre-approved so if you have a house to sell it may not work if you need the proceeds from that house so just keep those things in mind because every builder is doing things very different there is escalation clause there is a bidding war there is spec homes and talking about spec homes almost every builder that i know of is doing spec homes, which means this is the house, this is the lot, this is the package, take it or leave it, that's it. You cannot go to a design center. However, in this case, in this house, you do have that choice. You can go to a design center. However, they have nine different collections or um, assortment, which basically says, this is what the floor is gonna look like. This is the granite or quartz you are going to get. And then you basically decide which package you want. So you can choose a package, but you can't mix and match between the packages, if that makes sense. But what I really like over here is the nice backsplash. You know, it is a, a electric community, so it's not a gas community. But what I like is that this is a gourmet uh, upgrade in the kitchen, and I highly recommend that if your budget allows for it. But I like that they have this little space like a coffee station. But then what I like over here is that you have this little passageway, which is more like, you know, a little, a wine station or a little storage area. This is so conveniently located that you can have your crockery and stuff. And when you have a formal dining event or family comes over for Thanksgiving, don't forget to call me, uh, you know, so you can do that. You, you can just put everything there and it's so easily accessible and not to mention the eight foot door. Now that door is definitely an upgrade, but these are the things that you can get. And this is your pantry area and look at the size of this pantry. So you have a lot of space. You know, when I am looking for home, so when I go with my wife, there are a couple of things that my wife looks at, which is the ceiling height, which she really like, uh, you know, my wife is not that tall, but she always wants to make sure that it's nice, tall ceilings and that the kitchen is kind of open the way this is and things are kind of, things are very well designed. And I say this all the time, you know, the square footage of the house to me does not necessarily matter. And the reason is if the house flows well, it could be just 2,500 square foot and it's gonna look much bigger. Now this house is a big house, but the square footage in this house really shows well. The room sizes are pretty good. They're comfortable, they're open. So just to keep that in mind. Now, as I go over here, one thing that I do want to mention to you is that as I go outside in this patio area, this actually is an upgrade. So this whole lanai is an upgrade. So you can probably get a covered lanai halfway or if you choose to do it all the way. So the base price does not include that. So just keep that in mind, guys, that uh, you know every builder has something called a feature sheet. And if you are not sure, you know, give me a call, text me, email me, let us know what is that we can do. I'll be happy to be able to send you a, a feature sheet. So let me go ahead and show you on this side of that. So you have a full bathroom right over here. And it is a shower tub combination with the simple subway tiles, you know, that you see over here. And then you have the, the quartz right over here. So these are definitely an upgrade along with the eight foot door upgrades. Usually you're going to have a six, eight. And then this is your two car garage. Now this is a builder office, so I probably won't be able to go in there. But what I like is as you come, I have seen a lot of builders do like a little uh, uh, down station. They'll make some, some piece of furniture right there where you can put your bag, keep your shoes. But I personally prefer something like this and they have done a really good job. It looks like, like a little pet station and then you have this area and then you also have a bedroom. Now, before I go to that, you have a closet space right there. So a lot of space like, you know, a coat closet or whatever you want to call this gives you some good space. And then you have a bedroom downstairs and look at the 
the size of this bedroom, you know, you have a window there and a window here. I usually see a window basically mostly on one side. There's only a one window, but some builders look. It is a really nice and bright house. But what I like is that you have a decent size walk-in closet. So if you have an elderly parent that visits you or friends that are visiting you, you know, now that you're going to be living close to Disney World, you know, probably uh, Mineola is about 35 to 40 minutes to Disney on an expressway. If you go through the back road because you're local and you know all the place, then it is probably about 45 minutes. But there's so much development happening, guys, that I'm telling you guys, if you could kind of lock in the price, that's the trick right now. First of all, to find something, you're gonna be on a wait list. Nine out of 10 times, you probably are gonna be on a wait list. Something that they're selling for 500 has gone up to 550 in the matter of a month, two months. And, and take my word for it or don't take my word, just Google it and you would know. It's an absolute insane market and that's why I tell guys, come on down, we have a small team. When you are out on the internet searching, let them know that you have an agent that you would be working with because right now it has been the most challenging market. Builders are doing escalation, builders are doing things that they have never done before and they're getting away with it because just the way the market is. So just, just keep that in mind. So let's go upstairs and check the rest of this beautiful house out. So as I go upstairs, the things that I want to point out is this beautiful railing. Of course, this is an upgrade. This is a metal railing. You know, it, it looks really nice, contemporary, new design. And then also your steps, like they have done a wood flooring on it. And then as I come over here, look at all the space, guys. The other thing is the ceiling height. The ceiling height on second floor is nine foot. So you have nine, four and nine. So usually it is nine, four and eight with most builders. With this builder, you have nine, four and nine. So really nice ceilings, extra lights. Look at the loft area right over here. You can have your TV up there and then you have a window and a window. A lot of windows in this house. It's a beautiful bright day, but look at the amount of light it's bringing in. It's so welcoming, like this whole space is so welcoming. You know, and let's go ahead straight down. You have a bathroom with a shower tub combination. What I like is that you have the double sink because I have seen bathrooms where they have that, but then they only have one sink right in the middle. Like when you can have two sinks, isn't that nice? Especially like I have two boys and if they are going to share the bathroom, then I can just say, okay, this one is yours and this one is yours. So they kind of get into the habit of cleaning their space spaces. You have a shower tub combination. Now, tiles like this are very simple, guys. You know, it's a simple. The only thing that I would suggest is if it's not too expensive to maybe get some sort of a border right here that goes right across, that's going to pop out. That's going to make the bathroom look like really nice. It, it's just uh, something that the eye catches or something right in the middle because that's what we did when we renovated our place. We, we renovated the bathroom and got some really nice sleek uh, uh, tiles that actually went all the way up, but that's not necessary for you to do if you don't have the budget. Spend more money on the structural options that you probably can't change later on. With some design options and stuff, you can always change a few things later on, you know, so just make sure you watch that video. So let's go ahead over here, another room. And what I like is that you have this walk-in closet, eight foot doors, you know, and then you have a good amount of space right here. It kind of goes a little bit deep right there. So really nice space, but look at the size of this room, like two nice windows, another window there bringing in a lot of light. To me personally, a house that has a lot of lights do that. So as I come outside these doors, I'm gonna go ahead right across to show you the rest of the house. You have a bathroom right here in the middle. You have the two bedrooms and, and the size of the rooms is what I want you to concentrate on. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. Another nice window, another window. Look at the size of this room, guys. And also the baseboard, these are actually an upgrade. So just keep that in mind. But look, I'm standing in the corner and you have a good amount of space. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you know, but you have a good amount of space right there. It's right above your garage area. And then you also have the walk-in closet, pretty much similar size as the other ones. Actually, you know what? It's a little bit longer. The other one were a little bit more square. This is more of a rectangle than you have this right there. Now guys, you know, if you are looking to buy a house, you know, start the process sooner guys, because I can't tell you 
how challenging it is to to get now if you want to build a house exactly like this with all the upgrades and stuff then it's probably going to be about six hundred and twenty thousand dollars or actually let me take that back six hundred and fifty thousand dollars with all the upgrades that you see in this house but you don't have to go crazy because the builder's job is to make sure that when they are building a house to put a lot of bells and whistles so that it feels like oh wow they, they want that wow factor and and rightfully so because their job is to sell so you may not necessarily need to do all of that you don't need to have 10 different paint colors in 10 different rooms or five different rooms you can just have one basic paint so you're not paying through your nose for that and then you can do those things yourself or even the backsplash you know things of that nature you can actually save the money and just do a DIY you know do it your own at your own pace later on so just keep those things in mind then you have this bathroom right over here of course a double uh, sink right there of course these are the upgrades but what I also like is that you actually have a door all the bathrooms are shower tub combination I do believe that they have uh, a structural option where you can change the shower tub into a walk-in closet now guys when I'm telling you all these things please keep in mind that this is what is today I can't guarantee you what it is going to be later on the other thing that I do want you to be very much aware of is that you know with the way the market is what you see on the internet because these internet salespeople like I have clients that call the internet people and they have no idea they're selling something because the internet has not updated so they don't know most builders are taking away the prices online so just keep that in mind now the HOA in this community is only hundred dollars a year and with this HOA you're going to have the kid tot lot area the park area they are building a pool and a cabana however there is a CDD in this series it's about twelve hundred and fifty dollars a year um, so it's twelve fifty so it's about hundred dollars a month you could say and the HOA is only hundred dollars a year so yes that's hundred dollars a year in HOA so maybe five ten bucks so you're looking at about CDD and stuff just about hundred and five dollars a month so that's what it is it's pretty cheap when you compare to other communities uh, where it's a lot higher so just keep that in mind so as we go straight down this is another bedroom that you have here and look at the size of this bedroom again so very well planned very well done because I have seen homes that are like really big they have like really huge loft and living area but not a lot of space when it comes to the bedroom and in these ones I really like the fact that the size of the room is good but what I really like is that you have a nice walk-in closet in every single room which is a standard feature with the builder so just keep those in mind now when you go on internet our services to you is absolutely free so go ahead and and you know put our details let them know that you have an agent either us or anybody else that you are working with so that gives an opportunity because with some builders if you go out and and look at properties and stuff and you don't tell them that you have representation they're not going to honor the agent so call us first before you call the builder because we usually know most things up to date like my team what we are now doing different than most of our competitors we are creating a spec list with builders that are building spec homes what basically it means if you call and say hey I'm looking to move in the next three months four months five months what is that they have available or this is what we are looking we can look in the area and tell you which builder has what coming up and they would be a little bit better to to kind of get then to continue to wait now if you can wait then by all means do that but what you also want to do is lock in the price because if you don't lock in the price they will go up they have been going up I have had several clients where they they bought something the house is not even ready and they're already gained fifty to seventy five thousand dollars in equity that might be in your pocket if you can get a contract now with some other builders there is an escalation clause so that's a different story and these are the things that we will assist you and the best of all is that our services to you is absolutely free you do not pay us a dime we get paid by the builder so we'll be able to assist you watch out for your interest and help you so as I go straight down you also have the laundry room and look at the size of this laundry room. you have a full station a wash station right there these uppers are definitely an upgrade this whole area is an upgrade but even if you don't have that you have so much space right there this house has a lot of space you know with 3532 square foot that's a very well planned house if you are looking for something like this it's very comfortable and and you probably could be in this house for probably 
550, 575 if you don't go crazy on the design center. It does give you that option, but that is well within a certain price point because this area, and mark my words guys, Claremont is exploding and so is this place. So you will get a little bit more bang for your buck right next to, to Claremont. So there's a lot of infrastructure that is coming to this side of town. And by the time it gets all built up, you're gonna have a good amount of equity because your house is probably going to be ready until the end of the year anyways. So let's go in and check out this beautiful master bedroom with a nice tray ceiling. They did put in the extra lights. You have one, two, three, four windows. Like one thing that really strikes out with this house is how many windows they have. I have covered a builder that basically for every extra window, there's a charge. Like they, they build their model and it's like, hey, those two windows are not in your standard feature. There's a charge for it. Um, and you only have one window and then this window is a charge. I'm just so glad that this one, they have the basics and they say, this is what you have. But look at the size of this. You have some good space right over there and right here, you have a lot of windows bringing in a lot of lights and the extra lights, you know, I'm a huge fan of extra lights, especially in the master bedroom the living area and also in the office space if that's what you're going to do so let's walk in into your master bathroom and you have the shower like you have the walk-in shower area right there with the nice style and this is what i was talking about guys when you have that now this is a frame one i'm sure there is an upgrade available without the frame if you want but this is what i'm talking about let me go ahead and show you these are plain tiles as as you saw in the bathroom but if you get something like this going this way it kind of pops out. Well, put in the comment below, let me know what you think, but you also have a, a tub option right there with a little transom bringing in some light. And then you have a nice big uh, walk-in closet. And those of you who watch my videos, they already know what is my section, which is like right here. It, it just stops literally from there to here. And that's pretty much it. But it's big enough, you can always put in a small island for your shoes and stuff, that's what you want, for your bags, but you still have a place. Now go to Ikea or something, that would really help you. And then what I also like is that you have the double sink. I would have personally preferred if there was a possibility to have two separate sinks, but this is good too. And then you have the toilet space, which is not so cramped, and you have the door right there, because in some of the masters, I don't know why they do that, but a little bit lower on the price point, they just have that open space with the bathroom and, and like a little half wall or something. This is much better. You know, let me know your thoughts. And if you are looking, give us a call. You know, me and my team are here to help you. You know, we are also interviewing agents to start our channel in Spanish because we get a lot of people in Spanish talking about. And, and when they call me, I don't speak any Spanish, like maybe Poquito and Hasta La Vista guys, but that's pretty much it. And that doesn't really help me. So we are interviewing agents that we can help because we get a lot of people calling us. I hope you get a lot of value from our videos. And if you do, don't forget to press Press that thumbs up button, show us some love, put in the comments below and whatever you do guys, get on a wait list, lock in the price, kind of put things together and, and kind of hone down into the area that you want. And all we ask you, give us a day. That's all we need. Once you tell us what you are looking and we are, I'm actually, what I'm gonna start doing is, I have a lot of testimonials that are raw testimonials where I've gone out or my team has gone out and we have just done a thing. Hey, they spent the day with us. This was their experience. Maybe I'll start posting them on, on this channel on a different day. So it doesn't coincide with the day when I release the model, but you can see because I, I really want you to do that. I really want you to help yourself to lock in the price because Few months down the road, if you are half a million or below, it may not happen. It may not happen for what you want. So I hope this makes sense. Thank you for watching our videos and, and I really appreciate that. Thank you and bye for now.